right, what's up, everybody? How you doing? Welcome back to another episode of Telling Stories with the Punk Rock Dad. I got the homie Skinwalker back in the house. What's up, my dude? What's going on? Not a whole lot, bro. Little homie shipping out to the Marines soon. So we wanted to sit down and talk. He's been a longtime supporter of the channel, and I've been a supporter of his music. And so you never know what, how long it might be before you can talk to somebody again when you're going into the military. So we want to sit down for a little bit. He got, he just did a, was it a four songs or am I tripping? Four songs. A four song EP. I'm not going to sit here and lie to your face. I listened to it once. Um, I forgot you sent it to me, but I did listen to it all the way through. It's part of the reason why it took me so long to get, uh, get on here with you is because I wanted to listen to the whole thing like quietly. So we'll, we'll listen to some of that here in a few minutes if you want. Um, let the people hear some of your music. We'll do like one or two songs on here, and then I'll do a, a, a reaction for you too and get some some uh, views that way too. But go check him out on SoundCloud. Uh, you got, you want to put your Instagram or anything on there too, or just your SoundCloud? Uh, well, my Instagram is just all lowercase evil skinwalker, S-K-N, or S-K-X-N-W-X-L-K-E-R. All right, we'll put your Instagram in there too then. Go check him out online. But we, this, this, this is not the first time we've talked. This is the second time we've been on here together. We, we, we talk on the on text and stuff occasionally, but so I've been, for anybody that's curious, he has a music style that's similar, inspired from like a Haunted Mound-esque style of music. It's got other stuff in there too, but you can tell that that's where you kind of like decided you wanted to make some music. You heard this stuff and thought, I want to make some music now. And so that was like your older stuff. I will say this. I, I have listened to your stuff more than you would think I have. Your older stuff definitely sounds more like cemetery than your newer stuff and earlier when you said that you took inspiration and made it your own i knew exactly what you meant because i heard this new stuff and uh you did some different things on there man like how long did that oh, yeah. take you to make uh the tape took two weeks to that's it you. only took like two writing weeks. and everything uh well the thing that i do is uh, Scro's different. Scro likes to listen to the beat and write and stuff like that. I was doing okay. some of that too, but I usually just go into the mic and I just start rambling what makes sense to me and whatever makes sense to me. I uh, I uh, just start, I, I listen to the beat, I find a flow. Once I find a flow, then I start saying some things and then okay. it, if it matches up and it sounds good, then I'll write it down and then I'll go redo it and do it again. And then that's a smart way of doing it. Yeah. Get the get the rhythm going like organically, and mm -hmm. then sit down and jot some shit down real quick. You know what's funny? That's exactly how I used to do stuff in my punk band. It wasn't quite the same because I didn't rap, but I you know I sang. But I would go in there and I would like listen to the song because they would you know they would write the song right in front of me. So like I would hear it as it was coming alive, as it was progressing. Yeah. I would hear it, and I was the vocalist, so I would just be sitting there and be listening to it. And they say they had like a like a hook or something. I could hear it, you know, da 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 da. And I could hear like, oh, I need to be like da na 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 in my head. So I'd be like, all right. So I fit find some find that phrase I thought was cool or whatever I was feeling that day. Or if I just quit my job, I'd think something like, you know, whatever was going on in my dome, I would write a few bars down, and then I would practice that like just repetitively over and over and over in the things to keep the rhythm going. And then I would go sit down and jot some stuff down for some other lines. That's that's a pretty similar style of writing. I never really thought about that. That's that's interesting. Yeah, uh, it, it helps a lot, especially with someone like me. I can't just like I realize that when I write to a song and just play the beat and then I go and record it and then I, I just forget the flow. I fuck up. I can't. And then I got to redo it and scratch it. So, yeah, I found out the easier way for me and my brain and it's, it's just like I'm doing it right then and there when I have the mic in front of me. And it just works. I don't well, know why. Writing it's stuff just... down is invaluable too, though, because I'm telling you, man, people that don't do music won't understand this. Like Juice World was a special person, man. And look, I don't agree with everybody about everything that he ever did or whatever, as far as like what was all the all the semantics in his freestyling. But we can all agree that he was a special person, and he was able to walk in there and just lay down bars. And maybe he had a few things in his head set up or whatever. But like, regardless of all that, he actually didn't physically write anything down. Very few people could do that. Jay-Z did that. So, I mean, 
for people to be like, oh, I'll just go in there and off the top, bro, it's not like that's not how it works, dude. Like you can go in there not and get easy. some stuff off the top, but that's a one in a million person right there. So like I like that you're able to say like, yeah, I wrote, I wrote some things down after I went in and kind of just like fooled around with it and did some vocals, laid a couple of rhythm tracks down. And then I wrote some shit down and I got back in there because that's realistically how it works for most people. And then you have yeah. like the extreme versions of people like Eminem who writes everything down all day, every day, and then goes in there and just has like this like library of stuff that he's written over his life. Probably doesn't even use it. It just uses it to like spill the guts out, get to where he finds the words he wants to use. It's a writing is a process and it's different for everybody. And and, and I, I, I firmly believe that every artist that's recorded any music is a writer of music and they don't just like Jay-Z may not have written his bars down on 99 problems, but he had it written when if, before it was recorded like it was all in his head you know uh you know what i'm not trying to argue with people about that so whatever i'm just happy dude these people just like to argue with me about things I, I may not even be absolutely correct about that now that i'm thinking about it but um i don't know i just find it refreshing that you're able to say that you wrote some stuff down so many people are stuck on this don't write shit down thing anymore and I, I, it drives me nuts uh it works for some people it doesn't work for others anyhow so okay Four songs. It's called what again? What was the EP called? Soul Addicts. Soul Addicts. That's right. Yeah. Yo, I'm not going to lie, dude. It was pretty fire, man. I was smiling, dude. And I was sitting here listening to it because I was happy for you, man. Like, it's good, dude. Like, I don't know the song titles, but I'm going to, anybody that's curious, I'm going to make a mixtape. One side's going to be his. One side's going to be uh, TJ Trainwreck. So far, y'all are the two people that I have talked to the most that have reached out and like, well, I just reached out to TJ actually myself, but like two people that I've gotten into contact with through doing this stuff. Y'all are the two people that I, I just like your music. Like I heard it and I liked it and I was like, Oh, this is good. And so I just like, listen to it. I, it. So I'm happy to have you guys hanging out with me, man. This is cool, dude. It's, it's pretty interesting. Cause TJ's my age, man. I'm 40. He's my age and you're young, dude. How old are you? <laughs> I'm 20. <laughs> yeah, I almost said 19. I couldn't remember if you were 19 or 20. But like, so you're literally half my age. So it's cool to see completely different generations doing this stuff because y'all both do it completely differently. I can tell you that right now. He does things more the way I do it and you do it the way younger people do it. I wouldn't even know how to set up a thing like y'all are doing. Like, yeah. like if you were to be like, yo, I'm going to send you the track. You laid out some vocals and send that back. I wouldn't even know how to do that. I would be like, oh, okay. Cause every, every, <laughs> every vocal track I've ever laid down has been in person. And I've been on two different albums that were released. I've been on two albums that I recorded. All of it was done in person in a studio with an engineer. So like, mm -hmm. I don't know how to do it another way. <laughs> well, it's, it's kind of simple. I mean, depending on what software you use with DAW, uh, Logic Pro, X, yeah. uh, you know, FL, uh, Ableton, uh, me and Scroll use Ableton. Very simple software to use. If anybody knows, see, what I don't Ableton know what any of that is. Uh, it's it's just, I mean, Ableton's been around for a while, and okay. uh, and all you do is you just you just record all your shit on the beat, and you know, put your whatever you want to put on there, and then you export it, you save it, and then you, and when you, after you export it, it's a file, so you just email it to so whoever. it's just like making my video i just okay okay it's very simple very simple i, I kind of get it now because you, you explained it and it sounded just like making a video just without the visual part yeah it's literally just like this it's i see as because i edit all of our videos and stuff like that okay scrow handles all the audio you know, stuff all the audio shit i handle the videos and i'm getting a little bit better at them I just cool. need a better software. I, I, I like to use Final Cut. Final Cut is something that I have learned. I just okay. don't have Apple. So I'm waiting. See, I don't yeah, I don't touch Mac stuff, dude. I don't yeah. I don't want anything to do with it. I hate Apple products. See, the only the, the shit that I'm doing I, it it I need is required to have a Mac to get better Oh, really? Shit. Yeah. I have an Asfire fucking Acer. And that's what I'm on right now. And this shit is just not. Well, I mean, you can get you can get a you can get a PC that's, I would say, better than a than anything Apple can put out. I'll probably get up. That's probably will. I'll, I'll build have. a new, I'll build a new computer right now. I use Premiere to edit my stuff. And like, if you were to hand me a anything Mac, I would be lost. But you know, people that are Mac people, they usually can fool around with that stuff. It's 
it's it's not an argument worth having with anybody because I think it's really subjective. You just like what you like. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. I, I'm not saying Apple's garbage because I don't believe that it's garbage. I just don't like the way that it, it – I never got used to it when it first came out. Like, I was never an Apple person. So, like, I never got used to an iOS system. So, when I get on there, I just feel like I'm in a strange place and I don't like it. I've had an iPhone once and I got rid of it as fast as I possibly could. Um, not because it wasn't good, I just didn't like it, you know. It did have his it did have its qualities that I really enjoyed about it, but that's why I carry two phones. I got one Apple Do you? and the Apple Apple's to uh no service on it. It's just what I keep what I write all the music on and for sure ideas and more space, and then I got my, my primary uh that I text you on and stuff like that. So. I sent I sent my boy TJ the link you sent me to your SoundCloud and told him to check your shit out because He's on to some big things, dude. You heard that song Spooky Bitches yet? I don't think I have. Not yet. Oh, bro, I'm going to play that for you on this show, dude. I want you to hear it. I want to get your opinion on it because when I heard it, so I heard like a little 15 second snippet of this dude's music, right? And uh, it was one of those situations where I heard it and in my head, I thought, oh, this dude's probably really famous. I probably can't get in touch with him. You know, like Suicide Boy's big, right? So I click on his shit. And I find out that he's barely getting started. He's got like no followers yet. He just had just started his stuff. He was in a band and that was a separate thing, but he had like nobody. So I reached out. I was like, Hey man, I like your shit. I did a video for it and I just sent it to him. I was like, you want to do a podcast? He's like, hell yeah. And now we're like homies. We talk almost every day. And, uh, I'm probably, well, not even probably. It's almost certain that we're going to do a record together. So, uh, I'll be putting it out on my label. I'll be doing all the artwork and he'll be doing all the music. Of course, I don't do that stuff anymore, but, uh, he had this song, dude, called Spooky Bitches, and it just hit me right, bro. I heard it, and I was like, huh. And then I said to my wife, I said, babe, come here, hear this. I said, what do you think about this? She goes, oh, that's catchy as fuck. And I was like, yeah. And it just, like, hit, bro. Like, I'll play it for you in a minute, and then we'll play some of your music, and I'll, you can tell me about, like, what it's about and stuff, because... No. And, I'll, and I'll give you some of my feedback on it. We'll just chop it up about some of your songs, uh, man. I, I, really, I, really did, I really did like what I heard, man. It was good stuff, dude. Uh... I'm trying to send myself a link. Give me one second. I'm sending myself the link to your songs to my email real quick. Give me one second. Because okay. I can I can pull it up faster on that from here. But uh, here, I'll pull up his song real quick, if you don't mind hearing it. No, I, I'm down. All for it. I figured you might be, dude. I think you'll like it, too. It's 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 a little different, bro. It's I don't know. This guy just fucking killed it, dude. I, I, was, so, I was so happy for him when I heard it. And then when we became buddies, and I was like, man. This dude's rad. He's a cool dude to talk to. And I just, it's kind of like talking with you. I just thought like, man, this is, I hope they make it, you know? Uh, I think, so, okay. What's up with your, uh, with this, with this military thing, man? Like what, what's your, what's your reason for going out there? Well, the thing is that the world's fucked up, right? The Facts. world's been fucked up for a while. And my thought process is, you know, I love my country. You know, I'm, for sure. I'm not a politic person, but I would love the thing is, is like I wouldn't want to be sitting here while people are dying and shit. I would want to do I want to do something about it. I want to you know, help. I like to help. So okay. I'm I'm trying to get into recon and okay. uh, that's a lot of classes like that's a bunch of like yeah, classified that's, missions yeah, that's and shit, shit, like make, shit they make movies about <laughs> yeah so um, i'm getting it's either that or scout sniping that i'm trying to go for and i gotta get okay high scores on them and stuff and i've passed I've, i mean i've i've over i passed my scores already and shit like okay that, but it's i gotta get higher scores physically which aren't bad my scores aren't bad i just i've been working out Every day I go hunt, which is something that can. Oh, that's exhausting. I don't know a lot about it, out. but I know it's. I know it's tired. It takes a lot of physical uh, oh, strength, yeah. a lot of endurance, a lot of focus. Yeah, it's it's more. It's helping me with like my scouting. Like hunting helps with what I want to do. Is like with okay. recon is being silent, looking for yeah. you know your your target and exterminating it. Or I mean, recon we don't even we don't even do that shit. We just go in there. I yeah, you're just finding, you're just getting the information and yeah. bringing it back. Yeah, it's like, go it's in more there. Spy work, huh? Yeah, it's all about spies. You got to be silent. You got to be deadly. You got to live in the shadows. That's that's something I I want to do, and I'm really good with strategy. So that's crazy, man. So you're you're taking a, a big chance because especially with the way things are going right now. I mean, you know, more power to you. Yeah. Here, I'm gonna play this song for you real quick. I want you to tell me what you think about it. 
As a matter of fact, we don't even got to look at it. We can just listen to it. Let's do it. Tell me if you can hear it. Can you hear it? Okay. For anybody listening, this is TJ Trainwreck, Spooky Bitches. Dude, look at this shit. He made all this stuff himself, dude. Oh shit, hold up. I forgot I had the little bone dudes in it. <laughs> Sounds like a mix between like corpse, bones, and like suicide boys. My favorite murder I can get when she's heard it. Obsessed with you come out the weed and those will slash her horror. I fucking love it. She looking just like Lily Monster. Hmm. Like she came back from the dead. I think that I'm in trouble. Sugar the chains, bones and rights, astrology, terror and fuck everything. What were you for? What was the day? You're talking about a more left anyway. By this point, I'll get a shame for chains one day. And Lily, I'm maybe this way. Yo, my girl, oh, I can't be safe. Let me run that into your girl. Spooky bitches, I can't get rid of y'all. Been fucked up since trash and video. Talking old school VHS video. Oh, shit, bro. Girl, I have a stick to get to y'all. Spooky bitches, they were waiting. No stopping black nails, fish nets. Just fire, bro. That shit's hard. I'm fucking with it. You're right? Robin, come on. Spooky girl, I put that pussy in a coffin. Knock the dog, grab something, shit. I'll shake your fucking grip. Make your ass spin. Let the player on what's the system bitch. Like a scarecrow, I'll slip it good into the same split. Every day you have a way. You know, screen, green, bits on no Shit. God damn, best nets and bitter grips. A lot of whips, he loves the dead and gross. They like the sun as him. Black cat, black lips, black heart, red shit. Graveyard, casket, darkness, earth worship. Spooky bitches, I can't get rid of y'all. Been fucked up since trash and video. Talking old school VHS video. I wanna see a tomb girl, I have a sit to get to y'all. Spooky bitches, they were waiting, no stopping black nails. Fish nets trying to get them pennies up and them spooky bitches are known for how to rub and go moan. Spooky girl, I put that pussy in the coffin. Yeah, he sings for a, like a hardcore metal band too. This shit is hard, dude. Yeah, it's just awesome, isn't it? I'm loving it. Lips, black on witch shit, graveyard casket, darkness, death wish, black cat, black lips, black on witch shit, graveyard casket, darkness, death wish, black cat, black lips, black on witch shit, graveyard casket, darkness, death wish. Spooky bitches, I can't Damn. get rid of y'all. Bro, it's fire, dude. Up since Holy trash fuck. and video. Talking old school VHS video. I wanna see a tune, girl. I have a slip to get to y'all. Spooky bitches, they rain no stopping. Black nails, fish nets, trying to get them belly something. They're spooky Talk about bitches, them bitches bro. Oh, oh, man. Oh, spooky girl. I put that pussy in a coffin. Yeah, bro. Dude fucking bro. killed it. Bro, you know he his voice reminds me a uh, little bit of Kamara and Wavy Jones. Who? Kamara and Wavy Jones. I don't he's know either that, of those artists. He's the oh, hella underground legends, yeah. and they have like that deep fucking raspy voice that Dude. like it sounds fucking it sounds cool as shit. He made that shit in his own way. I like his voice is perfect for Dude, what he's, he's got, doing. Dude, you should, he's got a bunch of songs too. So we're gonna put out. I think an EP, a seven inch record, two songs on each side. That's going to be the title track. And uh, yeah, we got some shit, dude, about to happen. Yeah, dude, I'm, I'm excited for the future, dude. Let's listen to some of your music and you can tell me about it. How's that sound? I'm down. Let's do it. Cool. We'll, we'll play two songs on here and then I'll do a, re I'll do a uh, reaction review video for, for a third one later. Maybe even do the other two later if I get the time. All right. Let's see. Which would pick your favorite ones out of it? So I'm just gonna play it from the. I'm gonna. So the way I heard it is the way I want to hear it now, and I heard it right. from track one. Actually, these aren't long songs. No. We might just listen to all of them right now. 
Yeah, they they just released, so the numbers are still slowly going up. I gotta do some. You ain't gotta talk promotion. about that shit. Ain't nobody judging you on that, bro. If you just release them, I, I'm honestly surprised you got 300 views on one. That's, I mean, that's 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 good, man. I, 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 once people hear this stuff, that's all I gotta do is hear it. Let's play it. Let's play a. Uh, <coughs> excuse me. Let's just play Soul Addicts. You know what I'll do is I'll probably still make a video for one separately. Okay. Just because I'll pick I'll pick the one I like the most out and I'll do one because people are going to want to hear a shorter video. Some people like the long form stuff. Some people want the short stuff. So let's just start out with Soul Addicts. We'll play this one now and then I'll let, I'll stop it and then you can tell me a little bit about it and then we'll go on to the next track. How's that sound? Sounds good. Cool, cool, cool. <laughs> And if you want me to pause it, just lift up your hands. that right there is that you that's grow that's what i thought okay it's a good mixture yeah That song's fire, bro. I like it That's... a lot. I like y'all's vocals together because it's kind of like, and I, I hate to say this because you're probably like, whatever, I know. It's very much like Cemetery and Ghost Mountain. Yeah, that we hear that a lot. Dude. They're different <laughs> enough and they mix together a lot. I, I, I like it, man. It's a good you should take that and be happy with that because that's a that's, that's a good thing, man. It's a good compliment uh from other folks that are telling you that. I am I'm, I'm I'm honest with you. You know I'm not gonna fluff you up yeah. or something like that. I'll tell you what's up. The only thing I can say about that that I think you should change in the future is that all the little ad libs and the haunted haunted mound all that shit like whatever the fuck it's saying i, I can't i have terrible hearing so some of the times it's, it's so noisy that it's hard for me to hear what they're saying like their actual words but yeah. i would i would tone that down a little bit because if you tone that down a little bit it's going to sound less like cemetery it's also going to clean it up a little bit it's going to give you your own you know it might be a parallel lane to haunted mound stuff but it'll be your own lane and See? and now, now, not to cut you off, but no, 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 this fine. is this is so when we were so what we did was we mixed all the songs without it all, and I have versions without them, um, and it sounds beautiful. And so Scro was fucking around with them. He yeah, that song, most of the songs had were when he was messing around with it, and he thought it sounded good a, a second. They were really there's so many tags, and I was like, all right, man, 
tags so, is what they're called. So. Yeah. So I was, I was like, I was like, we're gonna have to dial down on the tags a little bit. Place them in the right spots that you can physically, or you can, you know, you can hear it when you should put them in there. So there was more. Wow. Which I'm glad we didn't do because it would have fucked everything up. It would have just made it to where, like, dude, all I hear I is think it would have still been good, but I can tell you, guaranteed without a doubt, I would have personally liked it less had it had more of it in there. Yeah. And, and there's no telling what that means. It just means that I would have liked it less. I, I still would have liked it. I would imagine I would have liked it still, but, um, but that's my only real criticism. I mean, I like your vocals are getting better. You're you're singing more than rapping on that song, and I thought that took some balls. I, I have to commend you for that. That's not easy to do. Um, yeah. yeah, I like it, dude. Yeah, that that song is uh, so. How that one came up? So Scro was like, "Let's talk about something real. Let's talk about some shit that's happened to us. Some spooky, some actual spooky shit." And so I was like. That's easy because I've had a lot of spooky shit happen to me, paranormal fucking weird shit. And so I used to suffer a lot of like from like sleeping paralysis a lot. Dude, and I so, have that too. Yeah. So I would wake up. So what I'm oh. basically saying in my song in that song is like when I'm talking about like, you know what I'm saying? All these spirits are in my room type shit is like because. I would wake up sometimes in within a dream and I would just see shit and I'd be still as fuck. And I'd be like tripping the fuck out. Like I was Ooh. like, Whoa, fuck. So that kind of like, and then when I, when I say they like tough me up in a way, I'm, I'm basically, that's me saying like all the creepy shit has basically toughened me the fuck up to where I, it don't scare me anymore. Like that sure. shit just doesn't, it like I used to have nightmares every night when I was younger. Yeah. I used to fucking go through a bunch <laughs> of shit to where I couldn't fucking even go to sleep till like 5 a.m. and then sleep until like 1 p.m. because it just got to the point where I just couldn't go to sleep and it was fucking me up. And then I think once I got older, I was like, yeah, it's just stupid as fuck. And then once I got out of that, of the fear and shit like that, I, it, it went away. And so I just wanted to talk about, you know, some real shit in a way, but yeah. try to make it go hard as fuck. And a lot of people won't know that unless they watch this shit, because that song is based off of true shit in a way. Well, it so. sounded, uh, how do I say this, man? It sounded a little more, I guess, heartfelt. Like, yeah. you know, you can tell when somebody's just talking some shit and you can also tell when somebody's telling you something that's real important to them. Yeah, that's the difference. Is that I could tell? I didn't know what the I didn't know what the necessary I didn't necessarily know what it was you were talking about, but I knew it was something that was a little more important than just flexing and talking shit about ah oh, bitches that and yo yo wada wada all this other stuff. You know, uh, that's pretty interesting, man. That's pretty interesting. How many? Uh, excuse me. How long is this whole little EP? You think it's about 10, 12 minutes? It's about like 17 minutes. Like, is it 17 minutes? Okay. I think it's like 17 minutes. Maybe well, actually the, like 15. I don't know. Let's go to the second. I'll be able to figure it out here in a minute. Let's go to the next track. It's called Billy the Kid. And then I'll tell you which one I like the best at the end of it. Because I, I like the first one quite a bit. So. Yeah. All right. Let's go with this next track. All right. This is. This is Scro's favorite. Yeah. What's up, Scro? Yeah. Back it, bro. I like the pew pew. <laughs> <laughs> Billy, you're the 
Sorry, I like the background. Dun, 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 dun. Yeah, that's my boy. That's my boy Ken too from the Netherlands. That fool goes Dude, hard. Dude, that shit's fire, bro. <laughs> <laughs> What'd you say right there? <laughs> I didn't know what I was gonna say, but I was like, I said, baby, please let me fuck. I wanna hit. <laughs> That's what I thought you said. <laughs> I, had, like, I was trying to find something else to say. Yo, skinwalker what... out here thirsty than a bitch. <laughs> Yo, let's get back in this. Got 30 more seconds, we'll talk about it. <laughs> <laughs> That's grow, huh? God, he fucking killed that shit. No, when, his... he started, when he started rapping that shit, I was like, I was like drinking a fucking Rainier and I was like, oh shit, screw fucking yeah, his... <laughs> I know why he likes that song the best now, because he did a real good job. And I'll be honest, it's his that's that's the best part of the song was his part. Yeah, he no, smoked he... that shit like a split, bro. It came out and was just like <laughs> bro. He fucking yeah. that. I looked at him and I was like yeah, he really just fucking went up me, you piece of shit. <laughs> You're over here begging for some pussy, and he's just like, nah, bro, I got this. <laughs> bro, he, he was just like, he was just like, when I was going off on that shit, he's like, we should bounce off each other. I was like, all right, let's bounce off each other. And then I did my shit. And I like, don't actually, bounce that hard, yeah, fool. I was like, I was going to like rap in my in my verse, but I was like, nah, I got to keep it, keep it a little different, a little bit. Just try and sing a little bit. And it worked a little bit. But then when Scro came in, he was he was listening to it. He was writing while he was fucking while I was recording, and I was like, oh, he's gonna fucking one up me this one, dude." I was like, "Whatever, that's what we do. We like to one up each other because it's a fucking." No, challenge. having somebody else in there is kind of cool because you can bounce ideas off each other. You can get inspiration from each other, and then every yeah. now and then it's nice to have who cares who, but somebody shine on our song. That's because then you got a song like let's say you both did like a pretty good part, right? And it's just pretty good. It's not bad. People like it. But when they get to that song, they don't have anything to like really look forward to. But yeah. when you have somebody that does like a pretty good part and then somebody else does like a really good part, you have that song that you go, oh, yeah, you got to hear this song because this dude does this in it. And then you listen to the whole song because you want to get to that part. And then there's another stream. There's another fan. There's something to talk about. It's good to have that on some songs, dude. And I like yeah. I like your attitude towards it. It's refreshing, man. So many people yeah. are so selfish. Oh, dude, I don't give a fuck. I I prefer one of us to fucking blow each other away on something, and and one of us shine on it instead of none of us shine on it. You feel me? Like Fair. I like I like it when Scro really gets into this shit because I mean he's always been into this shit, but like when he hears something that I'm doing a little different and it sounds fucking hard, like uh, Soul Addicts was the one where he fucking where I went off and that was literally like a one take fucking Jake type thing. Like I fucking nice. spent that shit on top of my head and I fucking wrote it and I redid it once and that was it. And he was like, he was jumping up and down. We were drunk as shit. He was like, that shit goes hard, dude. I was like, fuck yeah. And then he it's always nice to, to, to be in the, be in that shit. Like I, I, I can't wait to like, I don't know, hang out with y'all, hang out with, with, with TJ and be around whenever some of the stuff's being recorded. Cause I've done music a lot, man. And I, I feel like I've got a good, uh, compass i can tell people like hey man here's a direction you should go and i i feel like i nailed that shit pretty good and uh it's also just fun as shit to be in the in the 
the room and that stuff's going on, man. Yeah, it's it's a it's a fun process. So is that song about actually Billy the Kid? Somewhat, yeah. We were trying to go for something a little western a little bit in there. That's why you hear the gun the little gunshots. Yeah, that shit was and, tight. I'm telling and, you, man, I th- I think you guys might want to just like drop the tags all together except at the beginning of a song. Like yeah, at like, least at least consider it like just don't take me as like, oh, so and so said this. It's really a, no, just just like think about it, consider it, maybe listen to it a whole bunch without the tags, and then go back and listen to it again with them and see if you go, oh yeah, I don't really like this anymore. Because I, I think I think it might take it away. I think it might take away from what y'all are actually doing a little bit. I I don't think you should drop them completely, but like have them at like the beginning of the song, maybe like once towards like the end or something like that, or right before the hook or something. But like there there's a lot of them in there, and it just sounds. That's the one thing I don't like about Cemetery's music too, is they do this shit all the time and it's yeah. just it just makes it more noisy. And I think he does it to kind of aggravate people on purpose. And there's nothing wrong with that. If that's what you want to do, go ahead and do that. But it seems like he's already got a following. What does he care? He's already, you know what I'm saying? Like he doesn't give a shit. People like his stuff no matter what he does. He can put out some absolute garbage and people are gonna still rock with it because he's got a fan base. Yeah. It seems like, you know, you, you still have a long way to go, man. You got you want to grow your music so get the people into your stuff first and then kind of wild out a little bit, you know, at least that's, 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 that's just my opinion on it. And you can take that for what it's worth. I just wanted to tell you that maybe it'll help you. Maybe it won't. No, I appreciate it. For sure. For sure. Let's listen to this, uh, Bayview Boneyard, bro. Chacho. Oh yeah. This is fucking, you got an advertisement. You're gonna have to mute that shit. Wait, what? You got an advertisement. You got to play the ad and you got to mute it. Oh, no shit. Yeah. That's the whackness, bro. Yeah. Close your eyes. Oh, because I don't have my account logged in. I didn't even realize that. You're good. But yeah, no, like what you were saying is like the thing is, is like me and him or me and Scro are still experimenting a lot. So oh yeah, dude. Your sound is gonna change a lot in the next few yeah, years. Like we're 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 trying to fucking right now we're in our wave to where we're like we're trying to do it like our own way. We're just now people are like still i still have haters that fucking be like oh haunted mound or fucking or this sounds like cemetery i'm like bro it sounds like nothing like cemetery like i'll, I'll no it's, it's never... not dude it sounds like cemetery dude don't don't even don't even don't even front bro it sounds like uh... cemetery but <laughs> here's the thing it's like okay you know how whenever i whenever i listen to like like me personally i listen to rap music I constantly say, yeah, this sounds like everything. And people go, no, it doesn't. It's different because of blah, 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 blah. Well, dude, they're really into that stuff. So they hear the differences and stuff. So, like, you're into y'all's music and you're into Cemetery quite a bit more than I am. So, or, you know, at least you were, whatever. You, you know more about it than I do. And Haunted Mound, all the, you know, so you're going to hear the little differences. But to, if I played y'all's two songs back to back and I asked anybody in my store, was that two different people or was that the same artist? I guarantee you. 999 out of a thousand of them would go that's the same artist because they're, they're not going to hear the small differences i can tell your voices apart you know what I'm saying so to me it doesn't sound like cemetery but it sounds like cemetery to like an untrained ear it absolutely yeah. does so yeah you're gonna have those shitty little haters that are like, nah, nah, nah. i laugh at it i don't give a fuck bro you know how many people <laughs> talk shit about me on a daily basis i couldn't care less dude it doesn't bother me shit. even a little bit i'm winning so i don't care bro i'm telling you dude i work for myself these people get up and go to their shitty ass jobs and hate their lives that dude right whatever it's on them all right cool let's go bayview boneyard this is my second favorite yeah, yeah. i think this was the one that i might have liked right off the bat Oh, 
Okay, you said catch me at Bayview. That's the fucking park. Yeah, so Bayview is, like, is that like a chill spot? Bayview is one of the biggest cemeteries we have in our town. Oh, okay, okay. And so this was going to be called Bayview Cemetery, but we changed it because I said Boneyard in one of my shits, and Scro looked at me and said, "We should call this Bayview Boneyard instead." No, Bayview like, you know Boneyard so much better. Yeah, I was like, I was like, okay, yeah, let's fucking change the name. Like and you can so, make a shirt that says Bayview Boneyard, and I'd rock it. Like it's yeah, way better. Like so, that's the spot where I hang out. I've slept there before, and it's just. It's I used to ride I my go. bike through a cemetery almost every day. I was right behind my apartment. Yeah, um, it's just so okay. Soothing. Before I get back into the song, I don't know how else to say this, so you might get offended. I, I hope you don't. I know what you're gonna say. Too. <laughs> I know this. I know this one sounds like cemetery. I know I fucking sound. No, like no, cemetery. no, no, no. It ain't even that, bro. That wasn't even that. I mean, I mean, to me, they all kind of do, but I can tell the differences because I've listened to enough of both of them to understand the differences. But the lyrics are so bad that they're good. Yeah. I that, I, okay. <laughs> So I know that sounds really mean. It doesn't, it's not meant to be mean. Like there's going to be a certain kind of person that's attracted to that. That's this guy. Because like, it's like a B horror movie. Like they're like, you do it because you love it. Not because you're necessarily like a fucking genius. Like you're not Christopher Nolan, but you love making movies. So you make them anyways. Right. So yeah. you're not fucking Prince. So you're not making music like that. You're making music that you like making. And it's like, I could tell that that was spontaneously made. That You were just like, yo, I like this. And you just kept it. Like I, I could yeah. tell that there was, how do I, this sounds dude, so mean. No, but there dude, was like very little thought on. put into it. You were just like, "Hey, I like it. Let's rock with it." That sounded like it was off the top to me. That you that's just made up some shit. <laughs> that literally was. You got it spot on. I literally said some random shit in there, and I was like, "It fucking works." Whatever to me, it works. I'll leave it in there, scroll. And he was like, "Yeah, shit goes hard, dude." I don't so, know. So was like, yeah. so okay. While I do say that, I stand behind that. I believe that, and I promise you, I mean what I say when I say that I like it. Okay. But if you want to reach a wider audience, you might want to take a little more time writing your lyrics because I fuck with it, dude. But man, I tell you what, I guarantee you that like a lot of my audience is going to like it, but that's a small group of people right now. Right. I mean, I got 24,000 subscribers. That's not that big comparatively speaking, but like I get, I bet my buddies would be like, what the fuck, bro? Yeah. And I'll be, like, I'll be fucking jamming the shit out of it. They'd be like, what the fuck, bro? But I mean, at the same time, they don't like cemetery they don't like much punk rock either so i mean they listen to more like like bluesy classic rock stuff we're all old men i'm the only one yeah. that acts like a teenager still but uh yeah dude that shit was fire bro i fuck with it heavy dude like Dang. no seriously when i first heard it i i literally stopped it and was like what did he just say and i was like that didn't even make sense and i like rewound <laughs> it and i was like i was like i kind of like it though and i was like whatever yeah. this is the one i was thinking of when i said i wanted to make a video i'll probably do this song because this is probably my favorite one all yeah. right let's finish the song up man this shit was fire let's do it Hellhounds with the Ford truck? Yeah, because he has a he has a Ford Ranger and he well, no, I was making Fords. sure I'm hearing it right. That's all yeah. I was just clarifying that I heard the lyrics correctly. Okay, cool. Yeah. You said psychopathic, and I had a hatchet man in my head when you said that. <laughs> Yo, y'all should do some crossover ICP shit, bro. <laughs> Yo, I fuck with ICP so heavy, but I don't even play, dude. It is what it is. <laughs> yeah. Hey, man, it is what it is. Them dudes are fucking legends, bro. Oh, <laughs> 
Yeah, that's probably my favorite song on the on the on the on the EP. I really enjoy it. Uh, I need to listen to the last one again to make sure, but I, I really think that's the one that I personally really enjoy. I mean, I like all three of them so far, to be honest with you. But like that one really popped out to me, and I like you know what I like about the lyrics. Whatever I said about them, like it's because it's memorable. Like yeah. that needs to be it. That needs to happen. Like people have this weird conception that like if you do something that's abnormal or not objectively correct that it's now bad mm. i don't think that's the case at all man look at artwork look at some of the most cool artwork you've ever seen it's like bad art like as an example i was drawing some shit the other day right and it looked okay i've been complimented on this fucking piece of artwork a lot people fucking like it right that's uh, just hard see i fucking hate it right Why? Why? i don't know i don't know dude, dude. it looks I don't cool know. as fuck yeah, I mean, it, it, I, it is kind of cool, but, like, I don't know. It looks so, like, like some Rob Zombie type shit. That like does, Rob, huh? it, look, it looks like if Rob would fucking, like, draw some shit. Just, draw, like, like, a tattoo design or something? Yeah, like, that's what he would draw. But, like, you know, but that, that's that's kind of my point is that it's, 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 objectively, it's not the right, like, the shape of the head's wrong. The jaw's too long. There's things like that that I see about it, and I go, "Oh man, that looks bad." But then I've showed it to like 30 people, and everybody has said, "No, that's cool, man. I like that." You know, and that's like the that, either that or even better. You know, they said they really liked it or something. So like, I don't think that there's anything wrong. I would even go as far as to say that you should have some stuff like that in your music because it it works with what y'all are doing, man. I don't know. I don't. I'm not trying to blow smoke up your ass. I just I really enjoyed it, man. I thought it was good, and I, and I, I like the lyrics because they made me laugh. But that's not, I don't think that's a bad thing. Well, that's just that's just you. <laughs> you the first time you heard my shit, you oh. were laugh. You were, it's just I I don't take it personal because I no I I, I kind of laugh at a lot of stuff. I don't, yeah. people take my laughing as a bad thing. I'm like no, it's just just how I react sometimes. I laugh when I get stoked about shit. I'm like oh shit, I just start laughing. Like I'm a it's, fucking. It's just your personality, and I love yeah. your personality too. So it's just like whatever. Hey, re- before we go to the last track, I do actually have a question for you. I just need to I just need you to tell me which one you think is going to end up looking cooler I, saw, I did this did you ever see this lollipop drawing i was working on i don't think i've seen that one no but that... yeah, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna make shirts out of this let's see oh there yeah. we go oh there we go yeah that shit looks fire what the fuck bro i've, I've been I'm, a, I'm an artist dude i do this shit for I, do, I make a lot of make a lot of artwork man and then i got this like melted popsicle one that i'm working on that's hella detailed Oh, it'll yeah. be more detailed when you finish it. Yeah. I'll definitely, I'll definitely, you draw some shit up for me. I'll get it tatted on me. For sure. I've got a few people with some tattoos that I've done. I mean, I've got a, a lot of people that have done, like, when I worked at the tattoo shop, but I got some people that have, like, some knife crime shit on them. I've got a couple guys with Shop 31 tattoos. But, like, I just got, I just got this one. This is brand new. This one, oh. this is supposed to be, it's like a ball and chain. Oh, like a mace. Yeah. That's fucking crazy. See. That's big as shit. Know. I don't know if you can see it really well. But I, saw it home, pretty, I saw it pretty well. I'd have to see it like yeah. some photographs to really see it. But I got like I got like a skull right here with that's like dope. matches. Dude, with this shit. yo, is that roses all over it? Yeah. Okay, so check this out. I had this painting. This was not I didn't paint this. This was this lady named Golda that I grew up with when I was a little kid. Like she's like my mom's mom's friend. She's like my grandma's friend, right? Mm. She painted this in 1977, right? And my mom was like, here, take this. And she painted, she painted uh, this one a year before I was born. And she painted this one 
about two months before I was born. And my mom knows that I'm a, an artist. So she gave me these and said, hey, you know, my mom's gone and gold has been gone for some years. Why don't you use these and paint over them and use them to, to make some artwork to sell? I said, OK. And so I felt guilty. So I never wanted to paint over them. And so I was looking at this. I think I was good. Dude, it's so weird. Because you, did you see me pick this up a minute ago when we we're listening to the song? Yeah. So I have really bad ADHD, right? So I have to move around while I'm listening to music so I can focus on the music. And so I picked this up and I was like jamming out. And I was like, man, what can I do to make this awesome? Like, what can I paint on it? And before we got on, I was looking at like uh, gothic ghost looking women. And I was going to paint one of those on here. I thought that would be kind of cool, right? And as we were listening to the song, I literally thought, nah, dude, I can just tape off all the roses and paint a skull behind it. Mm-hmm. And then paint the background black and have keep some of her artwork. And then you show me your arm and it's like a skull of roses. That's wild, bro. That's a that's a sign, dude. I'll keep yeah. it. I'm gonna keep the roses on here for sure. All all my drawings are original one of ones, so I that's don't have shit. I don't have nothing generic. Yo, enough. as soon as you make it out of basic training, man, I'll, I'll, your your boy will hook you up. I'll send you a piece of artwork. I got uh, that would be. No, no, I'll send you something like me. original. I'll make you a piece of artwork for you. I'll send it to you. It'll be no prints made. It'll just be a piece for you. I'll make it, you know, something like reasonable so you can put it on the wall or you can throw it in a binder if you want or something like that. I'm down with that. Hell yeah. All right, we got one more song and then we'll, we'll talk a few more minutes and we'll wrap this shit up. Let's do it. I'm glad we got on here to talk tonight. It's been a while since I've seen you, man. I know. I know. I love talking with you. Hell yeah, dude. We can do this as often as you want. We'll make sure to do another one before you go to basic training. All right. See if we can get Scro on here. See the little sorry ass. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's good people, man. But I, I like meeting you guys and talking with these artists and stuff. I, I, it, it, I have to weed through a bunch of them to get to the people I really fuck with, but it's worth it, man. All right, this is called Skinwalker Ranch. Let's go. <laughs> This instrumental might be the best instrumental on the on the EP. Dude, everybody has fucking said that, and I it's, it's literally gotten to the point where everybody's hitting on my 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 producer now. Like everybody, like yeah. people are like fucking. People were even just posting my song on there and just adding him because is, they fuck with pretty, the instrumental. This is pretty damn good, man. Like, yeah. I mean, I like the whole EP. I think you got a banger of a little four song collection here, man. I'm really happy with it. I hope you are. You should be. You should be proud I of am. this, dude. I All right, really let's am. finish the song up. I just wanted to stop and tell you I like this shit. I appreciate you. All right, hold on. Who is that? That's Gro. Okay, that snare coming back in full force is a is a smart move because it's it's missing out of the first part of it. I guess that was on purpose because it's a build up track. Mm-hmm. I like the snare coming in. 
I don't know if you can hear, see me earlier doing this. It's because I was thinking of what it would sound like with the additional snare in it. So that that tag is that what that was or was what was that a sound effect or a tag what was that? It's a tag. Okay, that should be pulled back. The volume on it was really high. And I yeah. Thought- it's okay. Hold on. So that this song was rushed. This song was rushed mixed wise because we were trying to get it at, like <laughs> scroll, scroll is a little behind on it and he's gonna hate me if he watches this shit because he's gonna fucking yeah, he's No, dude, the song's good. It. I'm just trying to give you like uh constructive criticism coming from a place where I actually give a shit and not just being like, oh, this is blah blah blah. No, 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 bro. I I, I care about y'all, man. And I I want yeah. you to be successful. I wouldn't tell you that if I thought it was going to, A, hurt your feelings, or B, if I thought it wasn't going to help at all. I, it's just a, a, a note you can take and take it or leave it, you know? Yeah. So I was just curious if that was uh, it just – it kind of overwhelmed the vocals a little bit, and I thought it took away from it a, a little – not a lot, but, you know. I, I get what you're saying. Sorry. <laughs> Yeah, dude, that shit is fire, bro. Yeah, the whole, the whole, the whole thing is good, man. I y'all try. Did a, y'all did a fucking great job, man. I try and just, I try and like to mix it up. There's a song that's supposed to be on there. It's called Nightcrawlers. So it'll probably come out as a single. I, there's some shit that you'll never think that I could ever do on that song, and that song's probably more of like a, like a, uh, I don't know what to, I don't know what to call it, but it's something fucking different. And so, Make sure you send me a link whenever I can listen to it. I won't post it if you don't want me to, but I want to hear it as fast as you can send it to me. Yeah, I gotta, I gotta get Scro to send that shit to me. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Just, I just want to hear it. I don't, I don't, I don't. I would never post something without you guys asking me to or giving me permission to. That's crazy, man. People are fucking dumb. Yeah. But uh, yeah, man, I, I really like that, man. I, 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 I'm so hyped that I got to get in touch with you and TJ. Got uh, you, Scro and TJ, like. I don't know, man. I see like a bright future for all you guys, and I just like the fact that I get to be involved in some way, shape, or form, man. It's it's cool, dude. Like, I was always like, I'll be. This is gonna be like real open and honest with people, man. People ain't gonna expect this shit, but I've never been one to like uh, act like I was somebody I wasn't, and I sure as hell never lied to nobody on my channel. But like, I was never like cool, you know what I'm saying? Like, I was like an outcasted punk rock kid and shit. And I wasn't cool enough, even when I had my band, I, my band wasn't cool enough all the time to be on the good shows and stuff. And like, uh, I never fit in quite right. And I feel like my channel is like kind of flipped that on its head. And I've, I've become like a place where people can come and fit in no matter what they do, say, feel or whatever. And I feel like I finally get to like be a part of the shit that I always wanted to be a part of. I think I always wanted to be at this point of it to where I'm directing things and helping people produce pieces of artwork versus being in the artwork i don't think i was ever meant to do that i did it i did okay with it i write pretty good lyrics actually i write i would say i write exceptional lyrics but like the performing of them i'm okay at it uh i'm a pretty good front man i don't have nerves and shit i can i can get up in front of a crowd and sing and talk and all that stuff doesn't really bother me but i think where i shine is like hearing stuff and like knowing things i've been doing this for so many years so i think i was supposed to be in this position and not in the other like where you're sitting you know i should i should have been from this angle going, Hey, yeah, I'll help you with this. I just think that's what I'm good at, but, uh, it's pretty cool to be in this position to maybe help somebody because, uh, if people see this and they don't think that all I'm trying to do is help somebody, then they're not listening. And then I don't care what their opinion is if they're not listening. So 
but uh, I really like your tape, man. I think you guys did a, a fucking banger of a job. For being 20 years old, bro, it's so young, dude. To be able to put this out at 20 years old, if I could have done something of this quality at 20, I would be famous right now, straight up. Like, no no joke, because I got the work ethic. So uh, if you guys can just keep it up, man, I don't see why you couldn't do whatever it is that you want to do with it. I appreciate that. Hell yeah, man. So what was the uh, – I got a few more minutes. I got five or ten more minutes I can talk uh, before I got to go do something. I need to get something to eat before I, I have I have to edit some other video. I got this video I'm working on called uh, – I don't know what it's called yet, but it's about the uh, – you know the satanic panic from the 80s when they had Dungeons yeah. & Dragons? So yeah. apparently it was all a scam. Like Really? Like, it was all – yeah, I don't want to give away the whole video, but like, yeah, I'm doing a video on that and how – it never should have happened. Like everybody kind of knows that it was like uh, exaggerated, you know, everybody was like freaking out for kind of, but no, it was literally a lie. Like it just wasn't, it wasn't true at all. The stuff that they said that was happening, wasn't happening. And I found out and it blew my mind, dude. It like, it like kind of fucked me up a little bit. Cause I, I had no idea that it was one of those type of situations. So uh, I'm doing a video on that, but I'm editing it and it's, it's going to be my magnum opus when I'm done with it. I don't know if it'll ever actually be that, but like this will be far and away my best video when I'm done with it. Cause it's like, it's a lot of editing, like a lot of video clips, yeah. a lot of photos. Yeah. yeah. A lot of stuff going into it. So I know how that is. Yeah. Dude. So I need to work on that a little bit tonight, but um, so what was your, uh... okay. How do I ask this? Cause I don't really know. I know what information I'm looking for, but I don't really know how to ask it. So what was, what was your goal with this tape? It's a four song EP. Did you want to try to get some shows booked? What are y'all trying to do with this in the future? Are you trying to book shows? Are you trying to go on a small tour? Do you want to do shirts? Do you want to do stickers? Do you have a site? Do you have an Instagram? I mean, how's it all working? Okay, so we want to make shirts. We want to make EP, like, tape shirts and, like, have it in black and white and shit like that with, like, us on it and then uh, on the back, the, like, tape list and shit like that, the song list. And then we wanted to make about a hundred of those uh and fucking we were gonna come to you and talk about you about talk to you about that and see if you can help us out and because if we go to someone else i think that it might be around a grand maybe for a hundred shirts um i mean for the, honestly... graf- for the graphic that we want like we want something like kind of like how this is okay like and it's like rough and it has like it says soul addicts and it has well, us on it. A thousand dollars for a hundred shirts. That's not bad, bro. Um, I could probably do less than that. I could probably commit to less than that. I gotta see what the shirts are gonna cost me first. So you get profit for it too. So it's let me think here. So you said 100 shirts. Do you have any idea what sizes you would want and how many of them? We'll talk about all that stuff later, and I'll get I'll get you a quote, and then you tell me if you're interested or not. Yeah. I'll do the absolute best price I could possibly do, but it, you know, I'll send you some like because my shirts don't have that like noise on them. I don't print that kind of ink. I use a, a I think it's a better ink, but mine stuff looks like it's DIY because that's the way I make them on purpose. But uh, I would like to do some kind of like collab with you guys and do like yeah like 31 of something and uh. If you guys want me to do like a shirt, a batch for you, like a hundred or something, we could, we could do that too. But um, that would take me a little while, and I, I wouldn't mind doing it. Like, let's see, let me just, let me just look and see real fast what I think a hundred shirts might be able to go at. But so, so what else are y'all doing? Are you, are you planning on doing some shows? Do you have anything lined up? No. See, we were supposed to do a show. What's the date today? Today's the twenty second. We we're supposed to have a show today. Oh really? Uh, yeah, but the fucking venue fucked us over, and. Really? Um, and they, they 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 came up to me because we broke records for them on a Wednesday, right? We had two we had over two hundred people, and so they're like, "Man, we haven't even had we we've never really even had like a hundred people." I'm like, "All right, cool." So we just broke records for you and shit like that. And we sold hell we got hell of money and sold the tickets and shit. And so they were they came up to me. The manager came up to me or whatever the owner. And he's like, "We want to book you for a Saturday." Okay. Uh, can we book you on a, you know, like October or something like that in July? This is in July. So they had me booked. It's a long time. For months. Yeah, it's a and long all, while. And I'm getting shit ready. Me and Brett, or me and Scro, you might have to edit that out. Uh, me and Scro, uh, 
<laughs> me and Scroll have a. I put we were gonna put some money in. We're bringing we were bringing some boys. I don't know if you heard of Gelbot and Witch God from. No, but I wouldn't nothing. mind. I'll I'll check out anything. You know that. So um, send me some links. I'll check it out. Yeah, they're they're from Dying for Nothing from Trucker, and uh, we were they're from they're from Oregon, and we're gonna bring them up. We're gonna pay for their hotel. We're gonna pay for all this shit, and they're they're like booming too. And nice. so. We were bringing, we we're gonna bring him up, and it just got all fucked up. And the guy was like, "Well, we booked someone else for that." I was like, "What the fuck? You're not supposed to do that. You're supposed to check in. You're like, you can't yeah, go well, off a of base of assumption. That's not how you do business." I said, you, you, "You're supposed to, you're supposed to let me know if it's still going." And it was still going because you booked me for fucking three months, or four months ahead of time. And he didn't give you a reason for canceling it. No, he he just said off of assumption because we haven't heard from you. We gave it to someone else. You're supposed to check in with me. You're supposed to keep checking in with me. Wait, I, you, you tell me that I'm in the you books. For what? To see if the show was still going. But why would it not be going? Exactly. I'm in the books, right? He put me in the books. He yeah, put me so in the books. In my experiences, ahead. and I know this is not always the same for everybody, but in my experiences, if I book a show, let's say like right now on October 22nd, I book a show for. Let's say March 1st. That's a long time from now. November, December, January, four, that's four months. Five months, excuse me. Five months. <laughs> I was like, wait a minute. Five months from now. Damn, I'll be 41 in five months. Ugh. Anyways, five months from now, if I book a show, unless I call the venue and tell them I'm not coming, they would expect me there on March 1st. I don't understand that. Yeah, it doesn't make any sense, bro. I would, I would, I would keep that guy's name in a notebook, and I would never work with that guy again. Oh yeah, like, no, I, we bashed him and shit like that. And I saw him on the. I almost jumped out, and beat the shit out of him for it because. No, nah, you want to do nothing like that, dude. Don't he, risk your career over he, some stupid shit. And he pissed me off because he's like, "Oh, it was part of my fault and part of your fault," and I was like, "How's it my fault?" I, nah, I, dude, I knew I was booked. Dude, don't even, don't even let that guy talk to you, man. Like, look, if I smacked everybody that talked to me wild, I'd be in prison right now, dude. Like, just don't let, don't sweat the small stuff. You're doing your job the right way. Let him make the mistakes and let him deal with them in the future. Because what, what's really going to happen is that you're going to get to where you guys are sought after in your town, and this guy's going to be told by his boss, "Hey, I need you guys to get this dude on a show at our club because we need to make some money." And he's going to call you, and you're going to go, "Oh no, I remember you. You're the guy that screwed me over back in 2022. You you, you screwed me over 18 months ago. I'm not fooling with you, bro. It ain't nothing personal. It's all business. I don't got time for this, man. Good luck. Have a nice day. Click. Hang up on him. You ain't got to be mean. You ain't got to fucking smack him. Just remember it, dude. And just 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 don't let him mess you up." And, uh, you know, go on, do your basic training, get out of that shit, get your job going. Let's get a record put out in the next year or so. Let's get, let's get this stuff really working, man. And screw that dude. He's going to be an idiot. Let him be an idiot. He's going to end up regretting that shit. It may be you, but it'll be somebody that, that, that remembers he did that and they will stop fucking with that guy. And it'll, it'll come to a point where he needs that person's help and they won't be there to help him because they don't trust him. And that's on him, dude. Exactly. Yes. Stupid bro. So you guys do plan on doing live shows. Um, do you have a Instagram for your music that's just your music? Uh, yeah, I only have one Instagram. It's uh, it's spelt out not our th- our collective is not. It says evil. We say evil, but it's not. It's evil. So it's E V O L. So okay. we go. So so mine is E V O L S K X N W X L K E or K R. So it's evil Skinwalker. Yeah, yeah, that's an all lowercase. There's no ER in Skinwalker. It's just uh, LKR. I gotcha. I found it. I, I don't know why I said I found it. I, I have it on here. But uh, let's see. Um, Hold on one second. I'm sorry. So... Okay. Oh, damn. I didn't follow you earlier. I'm sorry, bro. Okay. I fixed that. Um, no, I was like, why is it not on here? I was looking for it. I was like, I swear to God, we messaged each other because we have. And uh, man, that's ridiculous. I don't follow a lot of people to be quite honest about it. I just, if I talk to you as much as we talk, I should definitely be following you. Um, anyhow, um, man, I feel stupid. Um, definitely post on there frequently. Post clips. Do you have a TikTok? 
I do, but I don't like TikTok. It doesn't matter if you like it or not. If you want to be serious about your stuff, you need to use TikTok. Do you have a YouTube channel? Yeah, I post on my YouTube. Okay, if you don't post on your TikTok and your Instagram like at least three times a week, I'm not willing to put money behind you. And I don't mean that in like a dick way. I'm just saying think about that because I know we'll figure this shit out. I'm just saying like if I didn't know you, I would say that shit and very much mean it. And like uh, cause if you're not willing, I, I don't like TikTok either, bro. Like, do I like TikTok? No, dude, it's a waste of my time and it sucks me in a hole and I get sucked in there for 30 minutes, dude. But like, it is what it is, dude. You got to use it cause you got to get your stuff out there. And the best way to do that is social media. It's a necessary evil right now. But like what I would recommend is set, set aside, like, let's say like Monday, Wednesday and Friday, right? 30 minutes to make a, all you gotta do is make a clip, make a little thing with your a clip of your song in it. And are you on Spotify? Um, that's the thing. Uh, I'm about to put everything on all platforms uh, here very, very soon. It costs money to do that. Yes, and I'm it aware. costs money to keep it, uh, you know, keep it going. And yeah, I yeah no, mean, no, I, I know how this stuff works. It's, it's. I don't know how it's gonna work out when I leave, and like I'm getting a different, like every, I'm getting, you know, I'm going through, you know, government bank, like banks, like Navy, federal, and stuff like that. Yeah. So it's all going to be i'll leave my my bank account open and stuff so shit can still get paid but sure i'm I'm just trying to figure out everything right now and once i have it like okay yeah i can do it i'm gonna get it all all on platforms and it'll be sure sure no no, i was just asking i was just throwing things out there that i was thinking of the 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 best advice that i can give you right now is to keep dropping stuff on youtube and utilize uh tiktok i know it sucks dude but use that platform bro I'm telling you, it'll help you more than you understand. And if you just take a 30 minute segment out of your day, three times a week to post a clip and a little video, even if it's just you and Scro talking about something or you talking about whatever you're doing that day and have your song in the background playing and post it and just post it and post it and post it and tag cemetery, haunted mound, horror core, whatever you can tag, it'll grow your audience. And by the time you get out of basic training, you'll have a much larger audience than you do now. And then you can really build upon that, man. If you just listen to what I'm telling you and take my advice, I guarantee you, I can get you where you want to go. I have no doubt in my mind. If I was younger, I would just do it honestly, but I, uh, I got kids and shit. I don't have time for all that, but, um, yeah, man, I really think you got something going here. You and scroll both, man. Uh, uh, yeah, dude, I'm, I'm psyched for y'all, dude. Thank you. That's the shit, bro. Your album, your little EP is awesome, dude. I'm I'm enjoying it. I'm gonna listen to it some more. I'm gonna make a couple of tapes. You know what I think about doing? If I can fit it, because this is a really short tape. If I can fit it on the one side of this, I'm gonna do a TJ and and uh, uh, Skinwalker like split mixtape thing and give it away on the channel to somebody for free. Just let them have it. I'll help. I'll help promote y'all stuff, dude. I'll get y'all some some new viewers and shit, dude. I like this stuff. This is fun, man. This is the way. This is this is the music. I, I'm just doing. I like doing it, man. It ain't, it ain't nothing to, other other than that. I just like this stuff. Your songs were great, man. Uh, hell yeah, dude. Tell Scrolls bitch ass to get on here with us and chill that stuff. Uh, <laughs> For sure. But uh, anything else you want to talk about before we go? Uh, no, just fucking. Whoever's watching, please just bang the fucking tape. That's all I ask. Let's go. <laughs> just bang Let's the fucking go. tape. You don't gotta follow me. I Yo, gotta, just bang it. No, you gotta follow him, dude. Don't don't be making it. shit, bro. Blow his shit up, bro. Skinwalker, TJ Trainwreck, Scroll, Shop Thirty One, Whore Hangout, man. Let's go, dude. It's a fucking community, man. Let's get this shit started, bro. Everybody out there, thank y'all for watching, man. We appreciate your time. We appreciate your support. Seriously, man, it's like it's like a big fucking deal, dude. So. uh Thank you, man. Y'all have a good day. If you need anything, if you're dealing with substance abuse, depression, uh, shitty day at work, breakups, whatever, man, you need somebody to talk to, hit me up, man. My Instagram's in the description. He can tell you firsthand that I will talk to you. Uh, yeah. Just uh, don't do it alone, man. It's, it's, a, it's, it's, it's a dark, scary place out there, man. We do. We all need each other to make this shit work. So uh, we'll talk to y'all later, man. Don't hang up quite yet, brother. Uh, we'll see y'all soon, okay? Peace.